Welcome to the MQT Essentials video series. Today we are going to talk about retained messages. Retained messages are one of the unique features of MQTT you won't find in a lot of other protocols. So let's get started. What is a retained message? A retained message is a last known good value persisted by the broker for a topic. So this means the last message which was sent by any client on a specific topic can be persisted on a broker, so new subscribers subscribing to this topic would get the, most, the freshest value available on a broker and they don't need to start with an empty value. This is especially useful if you have a, an application which requires a start state. So you cannot wait um, seconds or even minutes until you get a fresh value pushed by the broker if, in case anybody produces data, but you need the last known good value. And how does this work? A producing application or a producing client publishes an MQTT publish packet to the broker and sets the retained flag to true. This signalizes to the broker that it needs to persist the message on the broker and any new subscriber who subscribed to the broker on this specific topic would get the value immediately, even if they are not online at the, the point of time the message was published. So it's a very great way to solve the start value problem, where you need some, some values to start. The broker will also override old messages, so you only have one message here per topic you can persist. So what you usually do is, if you're producing retained messages, you're sending each message as a retained message, and the broker will just override the older values for you. So you only have one message here for each topic guaranteed. A question people usually ask is when to use queued messages and when to use retained messages. And these are really two concepts, and we have talked about queued messages in the last video. So retained messages are used on a topic level. So retained messages don't care about client context at all. Every subscription who is, who is new will get a retained message delivered directly in case of a subscription. A queued, me queued message is always on a per-client context. So if you have a persistent session for a client and this client is offline, the broker will queue all messages that this specific client lost. And again, retained messages have a global context on the whole broker, and only the last message per topic is persisted here. So new subscribers get the freshest value. What is noteworthy is that the broker itself will only publish the retained message flag to true to a client in case the client received the message due to the retained message mechanism. So if it started fresh, create a new subscription and would get the message. In case you have an online client which subscribes to a topic another client publishes a retained message to, this subscribing client would get the message as a normal MQT message without the retained flag set to true, because this is the normal MQT flow. So this is important to understand. Another question people very often ask is, how do I delete a retained message persisted on a broker for this topic? And normally you don't need to do this. If you have a topic which gets frequent updates, then a new retained message will override the old one. And if you really need to delete it, you can always send a retained message with an empty payload to a specific topic, and then the retained message is deleted. So this is a great way to implement uh, something which uh, circumvents the start value problem where you need values for your application start, and you can make sure that a subscriber always gets the latest, freshest data, even if on this topic uh, it's not an active producer, for example. Okay, this was about retained messages. Don't forget to subscribe below, and see you in the next video.